Welcome to iLecture Online. In the next segment here, dealing with complex numbers, we're going to learn how to multiply them. So here I have four examples, four multiplications. And again, remember that every complex number, well, it doesn't have to have a real part and imaginary part, but typically they do, a real part and imaginary part. Here's an example where the complex number only has the imaginary part, not the real part, but again, it doesn't matter. We need to know how to multiply any combination of them. So let's take a look at this, and just like multiplying binomials, you're going to take the first term of the first binomial and multiply it times the two terms in the second, and you're going to then take the second term and multiply it again times the two terms in the second binomial. Um, I don't know if we call it binomial here in this case, but hey, that works. So in order to do that, you say this is equal to 3 times 4, which is 12, plus 3 times a negative 4i, that's a negative 12i, a 2i times 4, that's plus 8i, and a 2i times a negative 4i is a negative 8i squared. All right, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to combine the two middle terms, and then you look at this term right here, and you see an i squared. And remember that i squared is equal to negative 1, so we're going to replace the i squared by negative 1, and we're going to write this as 12 Combining these two, minus 12i plus 8i is a minus 4i, and that would be a minus 8 times a negative 1. Now, of course, this times this is a plus 8, so this is equal to 12 minus 4i plus 8, and then we combine the two numbers 12 and 8 together, so this is equal to 20 minus 4i. All right, now you may say, well, that looks a little complicated. You might be able to do it in a different way. You might also want to put them one on top of the other like this, 3 plus 2i multiplied times 4 minus 4i, like that. Just kind of make a, a regular multiplication out of it. And then you're going to take this term right here, multiply it in each of those two. So a minus 4i times a 2i is a minus 8i squared. A minus 4i times 3 is a minus 12i. A 4 times 2i is an 8i, so plus 8i and a 4 times 3 is a 12. So we'll write plus 12. Oop, I don't need two pluses there. One is enough. Okay, notice how I put the i terms on top of each other, so now we just go ahead and add up the like terms. So this becomes 12 minus 4i minus 8i squared, and remembering that i squared is equal to a negative 1, so a negative 1 times that becomes a plus 8, so this is equal to 12 minus 4i plus 8, and then you add the real parts together, so you get 20 minus 4i, and of course you should get the exact same answer that we got before. So sometimes that helps you work these out. Going to our second example, well that's actually a little bit simpler because we only have one term in the first number, so we're going to multiply that with each one of those in the second number, so this is equal to 2i times 4, which is 8i, and a 2i times a negative 3i is a negative 6i squared, Remember, the negative, uh, or the i squared is a negative 1, so negative 1 times 6 becomes 8i plus 6. And traditionally, you want to write the real part first, imaginary part second, so this is equal to 6 plus 8i as the final answer. All right, now going on to the next set right here. Again, we're going to multiply these two together, uh, starting with the 5 multiplied times the real and the imaginary part of the second number, the 6i multiplied times the real and the imaginary part of the second number. So let's go ahead and do that. So this is equal to minus 5 times a minus 2, which is a positive 10, a minus 5 times a minus 3i, which is a positive 15i, a minus 6i times a minus 2 is a minus, oh, that's a plus 12i, and a minus 6i times a minus 3i is a plus 18i squared. Again, now we're going to add the imaginary parts together, and we're going to turn the i squared into negative 1. So this becomes 10 plus 27i minus 18, and then add these two together. So this becomes a minus 8 plus 27i, and that's the answer to that multiplication. And then finally, same thing, but kind of in a different form. So just to make sure we know how to do that, this is simply 4 minus 5i multiplied together with itself like that. So if you write it like that, then you just again approach the exact same thing. You multiply 4 times 4, which is equal to 16, 4 times a negative 5i, which is negative 20i, 
then the minus 5i times 4 is a plus. Oh, no, I'll take that back. Sorry. Not a plus. It's a minus 20i, and then a minus 5i times a minus 5i is a plus 25i squared. Again, you add the middle terms together, so this is 16 minus 40i, and of course the i squared becomes a negative 1, so that's a minus 25, and so this is equal to minus 9 minus 40i. Okay, here's another little trick if we go back to this one right here. Notice that we could have factored out a negative 1 here, and we could have factored out a negative 1 there. So this could be written as a negative 1 times a negative 1 times 5 plus 6i times 2 plus 3i. And then, of course, negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. So instead of dealing with all these negative signs, you could have written it with only positive signs. So that would have made it perhaps a little bit easier. But anyway, this is how you multiply complex numbers. And in the next video, we're going to show how to divide complex numbers.